Got it together in the fourth quarter and in overtime we were able to pull through. Kind of touched on it, but you, you lose the lane tonight too. You know, guys, just keep going down. It's a physical game and everybody's banged up. It looks like you were cramping up. Yeah. Just talk about the the heart this team has. If you guys keep finding ways to beat good teams. Um, I mean, I just think that uh, we're trying to lead all our younger guys, and uh, I think everybody's just getting tough and. Um, it's face adversity, and, and they just, they, I mean, after all, we, we lost to those guys, they know, like, next man up, so if one of our good players gets hurt, then somebody's going to have to step it up, and they know that they have a job to do, because we, we uh, preach that all the time. Do you guys, uh, pick South in the paper or something? Like, you know, you guys are probably upset about that, but, you know, do you feel, do you feel like the underdog, do you feel like you guys have a chip on your shoulder, is that pushing you guys even harder? Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I, I don't think really many people don't think we're going to win this game. I mean, after a loss to Wellsboro, we had some bad games, but we were just proving it wrong. Do you feel that way, too, that you guys are yeah, you know, I mean, enjoying that role? I mean, losing Delaney is a, he did a lot for us that we never recognized. And then losing to Wellsboro, obviously, not having Kenny. He got cleared, but he just... We didn't want him to. Yeah, didn't want him to push it. Yeah. But he comes back next week against Cal Valley, and that should be a good game. Yeah. Let's take it through. It's 2821. I thought the roughing the kicker penalty might be a devastating yeah, one. One play later, you take it in. You know, what would you see happen on that line? Are you just determined to score up once you once you hit the open field? Uh, I mean, I. In the beginning of the game, I told everybody, like, there's going to be a lot of ups and downs in this game. They're, they're a tough team, so it's going to be, it's going to get ugly a little bit. And I think they just, they didn't put their heads down until that happened. They just kept going, and I think that's the big reason why we won. So. What did you see happen on that play? It looked like you were able to, you got a good hole up the middle. It looked like you were able to bounce it outside a little bit and take it from there. Uh, well, we didn't, we didn't run that the game, and then uh, we figured that that would be a good time. And, uh, I was really confident in that play, and I knew I was going to run the ball to really good. And uh, I just saw the ball, and I just took it. That was probably one of the best ones. And then uh, the, the call at the end there to go play action. Did you feel like with Austin just running for that touchdown, oh, yeah. that you guys could get him there? Oh. Well, on that two-point conversion, I knew one of those two, the flat or the corner, was going to be up. Because I know both of those inside linebackers are going to bite on Austin when I when we run the dive. And that safety is not going to be able to get to the corner, and that corner has to come down on the flat. So, and the corner didn't play back. So, the corner was right there. And I didn't want to throw it hard because it's not going to you know. And so I just gave it a little touch, let it pile on. QT told me to put it, and I trusted him. And we were able to I, just, I think this game, uh, like everything came together. Uh, it was great coaching. Um, our, our coach had been on us all week, and uh, it's, it's definitely working. All the young guys started to step up, and I think everything just started to come together. And I have to give a lot of credit to our line. When, when he when coach calls that play and you know you're throwing it in the games, is that the stuff you dream of as a quarterback that you oh, know, having yeah. a game on on your kind of? I mean, I'm not zone? gonna lie, I was pissing myself because <laughs> I knew that when one of them's gonna be open. If if it's not if it's not made, I feel like that's on me. So I just I know that 
no matter what, Austin was going to be there to tell me it's all right. Carter was going to be there to tell me it's all right. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't have accepted it myself, but just knowing that people would have been there for me after, if it would have been an incomplete pass, is just, it really helped me just have the right mindset to, you can do it. You do it in practice all the time. It's just another step. And that's, that's a freshman making the catching game. You know, he's one of those young guys that stepped up. Uh, you know, was it just kind of cool to see him, you know, a guy that's been in, elevated into these starting roles come up huge for you there? Yeah, I'm sure that's going to give him a lot of confidence, too. Because he needed it. Because after the CMBT game, he didn't really play so well. Mm -hmm. and I'm sure that after this, he's probably going to be running his mouth about it for the next two weeks. But it's good for him that he was able to get that. <laughs> when, when he catches that, you know you got it. What are the emotions like? Oh, Nothing, you know, when you hear the crowd going nuts and teams. Pure excitement. I mean, it wasn't nowhere near a college game, but I just felt like it was Tennessee versus Bama. But it was very exciting for me. All right, it was a lot of fun to watch. Appreciate Thank it. you. Yeah, laid it all on the line. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Good luck next week.